Valley of Vision. This one is called The Mover. He addresses God as the supreme moving cause. The supreme moving cause. May I always be subordinate to thee. This is subjection to him. Be dependent upon thee. Wonderful how dependence and subjectivity are connected together. Be found in the path where you walk. That's living in his presence. Notice how he connects submission to God, dependence upon God, and walking in the presence of God. The next he says, and where thy spirit moves, here you have the empowerment of the Holy Spirit in the sweet presence of God when we are dependent and subjected to him. He goes on here and he says, take heed of estrangement from thee of becoming insensible to thy love. In other words, making sure you are tender towards him and not moving on past him and becoming insensible to him. It says, thou dost not move men like stones, but dost and do them with life. God empowers men with his his presence not to enable them to move without you but in submission to you the first mover O supreme moving cause it's the power of the spirit that he is emphasizing connected to subjectivity and dependency and being sensitive to his love he goes on next and he says, Oh Lord, I am astonished at the difference between my receivings and my deservings. Oh, aren't you? You recognize what you should have received and then what he gave. He has not treated us as our sins deserve. As Psalm 103 says, Between my receivings and my deservings, between the state I am now in and my past gracelessness, between the heaven I am bound for and the hell that I merit. Oh, this is grace. This is the gospel who made me to differ, but thee, for I was no more ready to receive Christ than others were. I could not have begun to love thee, hadst thou not first loved me. Oh, the origin of all of our love is recognition of his wonderful, heart-captivating love demonstrated in the gospel. Or being willing or, or been willing unless thou first make me do so. God quickens first, as A.W. Tozer says, prevenient grace. God seeks the man before man can ever seek God. Oh, that such a crown should fit the head of such a sinner. Praise God. This is the taking the beggar from the dunghill and making him a prince. This is the glory of the gospel and the beauty that we see in the nature of Jesus Christ. He says, such high advancement for an unfruitful person, such joys for so vile a rebel. Praise God, his purity for our filthiness, his beauty for our deformity. Infinite wisdom casts the design of salvation into the mold of purchase and freedom. Let wrath deserved be written on the door of hell, but the free gift of grace on the gate of heaven. I know that my sufferings are the result of my sinning, but in heaven both shall cease. Grant me to attain this haven and be done with sailing. And may the gales of thy mercy blow me safely into harbor. Let thy love draw me nearer to thyself. You won't find any greater attraction to spending time with the Lord and abiding in the Lord than a recognition of his love. Even as Jesus says, abide in my love. Wean me from sin. Mortify me to this world and make me ready for my departure hence. Secure me by thy grace as I sail across this stormy sea. I love this here. Wean me from sin. God walks with us into purity. He walks us out of the dirt that is all on the inside of us into a life of light and purity. And he doesn't tire of walking with us and staying with us and 
teaching us. Praise God. That is the wonders of his nature and his kindness and his faithful love. So this morning, I just want to touch on these things and remind us that we can live moved by God as we subject ourselves to him and remain dependent upon him, recognizing this wonderful gospel that is active every day in our lives. God bless you guys. Hey guys, it's Eric Gilmore. I'm extremely excited about Adoration Mentorship International. This is a time every Tuesday night where we can get to know each other and interact. Interact in a way that will help you give Jesus the kind of love he deserves in your everyday life. There's two types of involvement. You can be a part of it every Tuesday night if you want or two Tuesday nights a month. I encourage you to sign up at patreon.com backslash Eric Gilmore. Pick your level of interest. And I am excited to get to know you, to pray with you, and to grow together in our love for Christ through this online mentorship program. God bless you guys.